Okay, I'm here to talk to you today for a few minutes about our ISO lift lugs. These are top lift lugs available in two different uh, models, one with the ring and one without. But first, before we get into the lift lugs, I'd like to talk a little bit about the cargo container and specifically how a cargo container is supposed to be lifted. Cargo containers are controlled by an ISO standard that is recognized worldwide. And the significance of that standard is to ensure that containers are handled the same way uh, regardless of where they go. Uh, containers uh, are used in, a, in many different modes of transportation by ship, uh, by road, and sometimes by air. And it is important that the container be uh, lifted or secured properly. And those standards uh, require that all loads be through the cargo, uh, cargo container's corner fittings. And, and as an example, I have a top corner fitting here. And these corner fittings are uh, outfitted with holes, apertures, and those apertures are designed to uh, engage with different types of fittings or lifters or tie-down fittings uh, in order to lift or tie down the container. And in that standard, they are very specific that cargo containers, unless they're empty, are to be lifted from the top with vertical pull only from each of the four corners. You can lift from an angle from the bottom, but from the top it must be vertical. Uh, now if the container is empty, then you can have an angular swing. Now the reason for the requirement for vertical pick or vertical pull at each of the four corner fittings is that an angular lift, if you have a uh, single point lift here with a wire rope swing going to each of the corners, you have an angle, and that load will put a compressive force on the top of the container, and you'll have a sagging force on the bottom of the container, and the container is simply not designed for that. So uh, once the container has cargo in it, according to the specification, it must be a vertical lift. You will hear or see folks out there in industry violating that uh, lifting method. You'll, you'll see them lifting containers with cargo on occasion uh, with an angular sling. And I'm here to tell you that if there's a failure, you really have no place to hide. Uh, the standard is very, very clear. The fittings that are out there are, are designed for vertical lift, and you really need to follow that standard. So anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about these products. Uh, the ISO lift lugs were designed back in the uh, early 70s as a means to uh, connect to a frame or a spreader bar to ensure a vertical lift. They were also designed to work with something called emergency gear. And emergency gear is the term that's used uh, by uh, shipboard personnel uh, for gear that is to be connected to a container lift spreader so that if the container is jammed in the cell of a ship, and by jammed I mean the container is cockeyed like that. The rigid frame cannot seat and engage all four corners. They also uh, need something that if the container is damaged, if, it's, uh, if it happens to be bent or somehow damaged, and again the frame cannot engage all four corners at the same time, they would need a, uh, an assembly that would hang down from, from the corners of the spreader frame and have things such as this hanging from it and so you could just drop these into the corner fitting and pull and you'd have you know maybe only three of them under load until you got the container straightened out or or lifted up so that was the original purpose or the original need for these and we sell these for that purpose and also for those that already have some sort of a spreader bar or other arrangement that can ensure a vertical lift the unit is very easy to, to use I'll, I'll give you a demonstration here with a uh, loose corner fitting but uh, the corner fitting on the top has a large uh, rectangular shaped hole and uh, uh, that's the, the hole that this lift lug is made to fit in. You've got uh, a pointy shaped lug here that uh, is designed to fit into that. You just simply lower that into the hole and then turn it and drop this gravity plate. This is a gravity plate here that once you drop that in and give this nut and bolt, tighten it down a little bit with a wrench, even by hand you can see it's, it's hard to come out. Without the, the gravity plate, 
in place. You could have a situation where the lug could easily turn out and you wouldn't want to have that happen. So uh, that's what the gravity plate is for. Once again, this is not made for an angular lift. You can see that if, uh, very quickly, if we could imagine for a second that this was located in the top of this container and we turn it, all right, uh, the angular lift would, would want to bend this ring over. And uh, that, the, again, the ring itself is not made for a load that would bend it. We also offer the lift lug without the ring because many customers find that they have uh, a wire rope uh, thimbled eye that will fit very nicely in the clevis or they're using chain and a, um, a chain connecting link that will fit within the clevis. The style with the link is really if you have a big shackle or a big uh, hook and it does not fit in the clevis. So uh, that's the purpose of that. They work very much the same. Um, each one of these lift lugs, the working load limit for each one is 25,000 pounds. And we also proof test them to 50,000 pounds, every single one of them, and provide the customer with proof test certificates upon shipment. So that's about it. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call someone in our sales department. Tandem Lock offers a variety of different products for cargo containers for the purposes of lifting and securing. Thank you.